And here we go. Great start by Christine Maddox, getting the side out and the serve. And moving the ball side to side. Christine Maddox with an impressive run today. Uh, first round, defeating Cade Pearson in three close games. Then moving on to play Jamie Haas, winning in straight games. And defeating Dominique Schaefer, 11-3, 11-6 in the last round, round 16. Christine Maddox painting that line on the down the line forehand drive. Great passing shot giving her a strong lead early on in game number one. Lauren Stratman calling a timeout. Lauren Stratman uh, started off with her day at the uh, day with a three game match against Avery Chu. 11-4, 9-11, 11-3. And then another three game match against Amelia Schmidt for 11, 11, 7, 11, 7. So again, a long day of singles here in this, in this draw. I mean, progressive draw so much easier to get to play one singles match per day. But this time we are doing the traditional match play, which is finishing out a bracket up until the finals, which we'll see our championship Sunday matches here at the LA Open. 15 seconds, one timeout, two timeout. The winner of this match is moving on to the semifinals and will be playing against the winner of number one seed, Mary Brasha, or number eight seed, Caitlin Christian. Side out, great timeout by Lauren Stratman, regaining focus, little confidence. One thing that Lauren Stratman has always had since day one, and I'll remember this, is her serve. She always goes for her serve. It's always big, builds a lot of pressure on the opponent. And throughout her journey, I've seen her mix it up. So she has different variations, slice, top spin, flat. Nice drop by Lauren Stratman. Had Christine Maddox on the run, getting the sight out. Noticing Christine Maddox forehand grip, extreme Western. Great placement on that backhand volley by Stratman. Wow, and a smoking down the line backhand drive by Christine Maddox. Big return by Lauren Stratman, an inside out forehand. And Christine Maddox, great passing shot, cross court forehand again.
3-2 here, game number one. Great gets, good reach by Christine Maddox. Lauren Stratman looking for that passing shot. But Maddox is there. 4-2. Lauren Stratman capitalizing that short return set up by her big serve, giving her a point closer to close the gap here. Ball ends just wide. We got some big hitting right now. A lot of quick side outs here in game number one. A slice serve by Lauren Stratman. Giving her the advantage of a short return. Very nicely done, nice setup. Now we have tie game, another slice serve. Stratman moving the ball very well right now, getting Christine Maddox on the run and out of position. Third slice serve in a row. And that has been a huge advantage for Lauren Stratman as she finds a short return, something that she could work with, giving her three points in a row on this side out. The hustle and the get. Lauren Stratman feeling pretty good. And there is the timeout called by Christine Maddox. What do you think, Rob? Uh, Stratman a serve on the far side and another slice serve. That time Christine Maddox is able to handle it. Or actually point, the ball was out. So another point. Whew. Big forehand volley by Christine Maddox. Stopping that run from Lauren Stratman. Another nice volley by Christine Maddox. I feel like when Christine Maddox gets up to that kitchen line, she's under control. She gets to that ball and she puts them away. Seen her more success, successful at the net rather than at the baseline. Here she comes. And another point for Christine Maddox. Trying to close that gap with a two point lead by Lauren Stratman, six eight. Again, coming up to the net, getting those points. Lauren Stratman calls a timeout, tries to regroup here as she had the lead er earlier on in the game. Christine Maddox finding her way up at the net and gaining those points. 
What do you think, Rob? What do you think? Yeah, it's nice to see her bounce back and make some adjustments once seeing, you know, uh, Stratman's uh, looks a little mm -hmm, bit. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's a great timeout called by Lauren Stratman. I expect her to come back bigger, better, and stronger and put away this this game one. This is my first time I've ever gotten to see Christine Maddox play uh, pickleball, and it's great. It's athletic, it's strong, it's powerful, and uh, again, we, you know, we witnessed her able to adapt right here in game one, so good stuff. Good stuff all around. Nice. If you're here in Southern California, make your way to the Fountain Valley Los Cab Sports Village where the PPA is happening Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. A lot of fun things going on, a lot of great matches and awesome vendors. It's a good try. Lauren trying to find those passing shots as Christine Maddox has been very successful up at the net, keeping that ball in play and putting pressure on Lauren Stratman. Suddenly it's 8-8. Eight, eight. Ooh, tough. Feels like uh, Maddox kind of rode out the storm a little bit. Yes. Now she's up up one. Not something I would have foreseen considering how the beginning of this game was going. There we go. Oh, and that's beautiful. Oh, but it is long. It is out. And again, you know, Lauren has been utilizing her slices against her, which has been successful for the most part. So let's see if she incorporates a few more to close out the game here, as now it's tied at 9-9. Sure, sure. Yep. Wow, good shots by both players. Oh, a couple of high fives from the stands. <laughs> no doubt, that's good pickleball. The LA Open presented by Deep Eddie Vodka. Shout out to Skechers, one of our head sponsors here. You can see those fly Skechers on both ladies right now, I believe. Nice, and I'm wearing mine too. As I haven't got my call yet. <laughs> Ball's called wide, good practice dunk. Gridlocked at 9-9. I like it, both ladies are fighting. Lauren finding her way up at the net and gaining that game point, game point number one here. And a timeout is called by Christine Maddox. Game one. And that'll do it. Game one in the books going to Lauren Stratman. Pulls it off 11-9. All right, you guys, we're about to start game two here. Lauren Stratman to serve. Okay, okay. No. Oh, gets uh, a paddle on it. I thought that point was over, but here comes Christine Mannix. What athleticism and fight. Love it. Yeah, good point from Stratman, and I love to see that fist bump. Fist bump, I love to see her kind of build that positivity moving forward. 1-0. Slicey, and it works. Nice little casual slice option. Something to consider practicing off the court. Shout out to one of my students, Paul, who's working on that exclusively, trying to master his slice drive. Nice. Paul, where are you, Paul? Had a great last week with you, kid. Zero two, Maddox to serve. Nice drop. Nice get. Oh. And the fourth attempt at a passing shot, Lauren Stratman gets it.
first missed serve of the game for Lauren Stratman. Not too bad, considering that serve's been setting her up the entire time. Yeah, I mean, not missing a single serve in game one. Don't mind if we do. You know, find out what we're capable of here. Find the limits. 0-2 here at the <laughs> Veolia LA Open. The Los Cab Tennis Facility. It is a mouthful. Vinny. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Vinny Barasha. Yes, the Brashas. Run, runs the uh, pickleball here. Yes. They do a great job. They do. And it's so nice to see this facility come to light. I remember playing tennis here as a junior. How about that? Nice. Good hustle on the Justin Case for Lawrence Stratman. Love to see it. Every point counts. Mm -hmm. Time to finish strong here. Nice. Oh, the rebuttal. Yeah, I feel like anytime Lauren Stratman sends over kind of like flatter serve, Christine Max is in control mm -hmm. of that point. Um, again, you kind of have to mix it up, keep your opponent on your toes, keep him guessing. It's a chess game here. Hmm? Lauren incorporating that slice, smart play. I think that's a shot of the game. I don't want to talk too soon, but <laughs> it's been working for her. Woo! The hustle! Great fight by both ladies there. 3-1 here in game number two. Oh, nice. Ooh, the depth. Great structure by Lauren Stratman, keeping it going. Digging deep. Both ladies digging deep here. 2-4, two, two-point game in game two. Stratman taking down game one. Oh, oh goodness. <laughs> it's some heavy hitting out here, and um, you know, it's a game of margin. It's a different game than game one. Yes. It's different shots all around. And Lauren Stratman calls a time out. Oh, decides to try it, and that ball stays in. She could have teed off on it. Yeah, she thought it was sailing long, and then realized it dipped right in. Tie game here, 4-4. That timeout not working to our advantage, but a couple unforced errors, losing the, the advantage here in game number two. a smidge more energy on the Christine Maddox side of the court. It's making all of her shots a little bit cleaner. Mm -hmm. Lauren uh, just needs to catch her breath a little bit maybe and uh, dial back in. Let's take a look. 6-4 now. Maddox up two in game two. Tough. Maddox just racking up points just by making her play. 
as mentioned earlier, it is a battle out there on your own. You have no one to talk to but yourself, so staying positive is key in singles. Working that slice, plays the bounce, and it is yeah. out this time. Side out for Stratman. Yeah, I like and mentioned earlier as well, that slice, Lauren Stratman slice is working working for her. I wish she would utilize it, incorporate a little bit more in her points. Oh, that was very nice. The checkmate, and yes, of course. Ah, there's that fist bump that we wanted to see. That's right. Maddox to receive here. Nice and low. Takes the center of the baseline. Now takes the net. Oh, big slap, but it's way out. Yeah, Christine Maddox knows she took too big of a swing on that one, forcing that late shot out wide. I mean, as far as positioning goes, if Stratman was able to get that back, Maddox would have been pretty off the court. Yes. So she's got to go for a good amount there. All right, Stratman's cruising. Not so much. Game of attrition here. Maddox up one now. It's a good slap. Lauren up at the net now. Yes. And we talk about we talk about utilizing the right opportunity to come to the net and not just rushing it, forcing it. Whenever the opponent is on the run or out of position, it's the great time to come up and and take advantage. Put put that ball away. There's no rushing coming up to the baseline. It's a good strike. Oh, not a bad follow-up. Anywhere on court, so strong. a wild exchange. That's what this game has come to right there. I love it. Lauren finding the backhand. Not one, not two, but the third time. Constantly going behind her to force that air. And all of a sudden we have a tie game at seven all. What a return by Christine Maddox. Down the line, forehand. Beautiful. Seven, seven now. There is the drop. Defensive lob. Christine Maddox. Putting that overhead away, giving her a one point lead here in game two at 8 7. Read me like a book. <laughs> All right, time back in 8 7 here in game number two. Feels like game six. <laughs> nice shot, huge court opening. Nice. Yes. She doesn't overdo it. Right. She took her time on that, just placed it perfectly onto the court. Smart play by Lauren Stratman. Good time out. Nice. This Maddox showing today is very impressive. Someone that we get to keep our eye on as the year unfolds. 2024 pickleball has been fantastic so far. She takes that serve right back.
Great battle of the forehand cross courts. Lauren Stratman edging it that that one out, getting the side out. Nice drop. Oh. Stratman a little curious on the bounce of that ball. It's possible with all of this heavy hitting that the ball goes out of round. That's true. I mean, I've never seen the ball being hit so hard. That's a good drop. Yes. Oh, yes, to the sideline. Opens up the court and checkmate for Lauren Stratman. <laughs> Beautiful structure. Let's see if Lauren Stratman utilizes her slice serve here. It's been seven, eight. Go. So good. Yes. Woo! Utilizing her options to open up the court nicely. And Christine Maddox, you know, moving so quick to the ball and just not almost, just almost getting there. But I love the effort. I love the effort that she's putting in and the fight. Good comp competition here. Defensive lob. She got it. That's close. That was close. <laughs> Closer than she wanted but she gets the lead here in game number two at 9-8 with a timeout called by Christine Maddox. Christine Maddox bouncing on her feet in the far end. Close game number two. Smart. Uh, interestingly enough, Christine Maddox has come to the net and been so successful. I'm wondering why she's staying back now. Yeah, I mean, something that I saw that I hadn't seen is just Stratman changing her, her pattern and kind of going to that sideline. Yes. Look, perhaps a little unexpected for Maddox. Got a match point scenario here. 10-8. And that will do it, folks. Great battle between these two ladies, Christine Maddox and Lauren Stratman. Congratulations to them, both of them on a fantastic day.